industry plants Charlemagne and Nori are throwing Kanye West under the bus to please the Jays. Now I'll be honest, this interview of Kanye West on Drink Champs slightly changed my opinion of him. Even though we know that he dabbles in the occult and that he is an occultist, there's no other way to say this. He was dropping some massive truths during that podcast and we knew the backlash was coming. But who took the charge of the backlash or the campaign against Kanye West is of course Charlemagne. But Charlemagne isn't just mad because he's an industry plant and he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's mad because Kanye West basically called him zesty, which he is. He said this guy is worried about other guys' D sizes and you can check out the clips for yourself. But nonetheless, Kanye West was dropping some massive truths and everything that's actually happening right now with the backlash and everything, it literally proves his points. Remember when Nori talked about there being a door in the industry and if you don't go through those doors, you're not going to succeed much. Well, what we can see now is that Nori has the top podcast right now and it looks like he's gone through the doors now himself because he's out here apologizing, backpedaling for bringing Kanye on when he knew that this was going to happen. He's not standing by his decision. He's been really weak right now and he kind of has to. They'll take all of his show away if he doesn't conform. And the episode with Kanye West, I'm pretty sure is going to be taken down very soon. But here's the thing, don't be too much on a bandwagon of Kanye West by saying he's selling too much truth and he is for the righteous reasons, he's a good person and things like that. Yes, he dropped a lot of truths in that podcast, which I gave him credit for. However, He's being a hypocrite as well. He's doing all of this for clout. He does not mean what he's saying. For example, he was dissing Diddy. However, when he went on the podcast, in one breath, he disses Diddy. However, in the next one, he praises him. It's the same thing with the Jays. First, he disses them. Then he says that he's jealous of them because it's a form of admiration. That's why he's criticizing them. And of course, with the LV boss as well. He made a big statement about the guy saying that he had something to do with Virgil passing away. But on the podcast he was saying that if he had to choose a colonizer to be ruled by, it would be the LV boss. So he's clearly doing all of this for clout. He's trolling everyone just for the sake of being the center of attention. However, even though he's gotten away with it many times, I believe this might really be the last time that he gets away with this. But then again, he does practice the same things as these people do, as I mentioned in my previous video, which is why he's getting so much leeway. If this was anyone else, remember what happened to Nick Cannon? You remember that, right? They took his show away. No chance of him actually be able to justify his point no he just nick cannon said look i'm gonna apologize because it's a bit too much i need wild and out back however with kanye it's not the same and you can't just make the money excuse for him donald sterling had a lot of money but he got cancelled right but nonetheless kanye west is getting a lot of leeway because as i mentioned in my previous video he practices the same things as these people if you don't know, you can check that video out for yourself. When Nori called into the Breakfast Club show, I think it was today, Charlemagne was really directing him to do what he's supposed to do. For example, he was really forcing him to apologize over and over again and actually acknowledge that bringing Kanye West was a big mistake, even though for numbers wise it was really good and Nori knew this. Nori knew that this was coming. And on the other hand, Angela Yee was telling him that, okay, so what, you're, what are you going to do to balance this? That you've done this mistake, so what are you going to do to balance it? Then he said, I'm by, Nori said, I'm going to bring Dr. Umar Johnson. They're playing that duality aspect here of, you know, three Jason Lee. But nonetheless, all of this is theatre. They're all actors. Kanye West does not mean what he's saying to you. He's trolling you guys for attention. However, I am enjoying the amount of truth that he has been dropping because we've never seen any celebrity of his level actually say the things that he's actually saying. It's quite interesting actually, but let's see how this plays out. 
for all we know this could be a distraction method there's a lot going on in the world right now and in times such as these you need a jester on the world stage to distract people from the actual issues that are actually happening so this could possibly be a part of that tactic